It's going to sell out. Here. We are going straight along. This is the one I've been looking forward which, to. Uh, which, which one we have here? Oh, this, this is the Silver Eagle this with is, Star Privy and okay. nice gang label. Yeah. This is something, and understand. First time ever. Save for I've this got, show. We're going to spend some time here. I've got a little quantity here, and, and the, the amount we have is the amount we have. So I don't know what that number is. I think it's fairly substantial at this point, but it's going to go down pretty quickly. Because here's what's happened. The United States Mint has been making the American Silver Eagle since 1930, or since 1986, 36, 1986. It is the most popularly collected silver coin in the world today. Absolutely, positively, no doubt about it. That's just the way that it is. It is absolutely, stunningly uh, collectible and desirable. We have made it in many different ways. The mint state coin is probably the most important coin to the bunch. <clears throat> Never sold directly to the general public, only sold through a series of what are called uh, authorized purchasers, APs. And so the mint marks it up to them, then they mark it up to dealers, and then us dealers sell it out into the world today. So the, uh, uh, the American Silver Eagle, the backbone of, of American numismatic collecting for, for quite some time now. Well, here's the, the crazy part. So we've never done anything necessarily special about that. So the West, the West Point Mint has made the American Silver Eagle for decades and decades and decades. Occasionally, when we get a massive move uh, and they need extra Silver Eagles because they, they can never keep up with demand, occasionally the Philadelphia Mint and the San Francisco Mint come in. And we get what are called these parenthetical, you know, they're from the San Francisco Mint, but they don't have mint marks on them or anything like that. Okay, that's a long-winded story to get to you to this coin. This coin has got something that no American Silver Eagle, Mint State Silver Eagle, has had in the history of the United States Mint. It has what's called a privy mark, and it has it right here. And a privy mark, if you look right there, see, no, see what that is, a little star? Uh -huh. See that little star right there? I sure do. Okay, that's a privy mark. A privy mark is a mark that's put on by a mint to either commemorate something or show a geographic location or to mark a specific moment in time. It does all of that. And the privy marks are used pretty extensively by a lot of mints around the world, but the United States Mint has been loath to use privy marks. Oh. They've only used them a couple of times, you know, okay. literally a handful, less than a handful of times in their history. They put a, a V75 privy on a gold coin and an American proof silver eagle to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the war, uh, end of World War II. Those coins sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. We just had a brand new medal, it's not actually a coin, that has a privy mark on it. Okay. Okay, and that privy mark is uh, a 230th anniversary of the flowing hair. We'll show that. Those sell oh, for, that's coming those up. Sell for 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 dollars with the privy mark. That was but a huge never, hit earlier. Huge hit mm -hmm. earlier. They've never done a privy mark on a United States American Silver Eagle. Until and now? I've done this and they have it and they have it right here. Wow. And this is the first United States coin with a privy mark on the coin itself. Now well, that's exciting. Well it's even more exciting than that this particular coin. So they're going to make 500,000 of these at the Philadelphia Mint. So instead of putting a P mint mark on it, it has a privy mark on it. The very first time they've ever done that. Additionally, this is the brand new American Silver Eagle, okay, that you have. This is the brand new American Silver Eagle. And this design has been being made since, 19, uh, since 2021. The first time the Philadelphia Mint has made this reverse on this. So it's the first time you have the Philadelphia Mint. It's the first time you've got the Privy Mark. Now, they're going to make 500000 But here's the even crazier part. The United States Mint took the first 50,000 coins and released them. i got to flip this oh, over. Oh, here comes the drum roll. To a gaming yeah. company. The Nice Game label. The Nice Game Gaming Company got the first 50,000, and I've got some of the first 50,000, and it has the specialized label with the logo of the gaming company. Look at this. First 50,000, certified by NGC. It is absolutely, and this first 50,000 has absolutely positively exploded. I had a few of the Mint State 70 coins from this. So you can see that these are right here. These are certified on circuit. So we had a few Mint State 70s. Those are gone at $800 <gasps> a coin. Gone. Whoa. Gone, gone, gone at $800 a coin. The first 50,000 coins have already are in their 
not just their second iteration, but third iteration. In other words, the first guy bought them, the second, then sold them to the second guy, who sold them to a third guy, who sold them to a fourth guy. These have already, uh, already been traded multiple times in the marketplace, uh, and the premiums just increase and increase and increase. Well, these are the original coins. I got these for the show. So what I have is what I have. So these are NGC. These are certified, uncirculated, like I said, from the nice game game, from the first 50,000 that you have right here. And these are the most sought after American silver eagles in probably the last 10 or 15 or 20 years. Now, when I tell you that, you usually will assume that this is going to be $299 or $399 or $499, but it's $119.95. And it is absolutely, positively irreplaceable for me. That's not true. I can go buy some in the marketplace today, but I'm going to be $199 to $249. Oh, okay. This is the quantity that I have at my original price and my original issue price that I have right here. We had the some from the batch of $500,000 earlier. I think we sold 500 or 800 coins on HSN2. That was, oh, wow, so, okay. So, okay, this is the first time audience. that this in any iteration has shown up on HSN. First time ever. And, and I'm telling Brand you, new. like I said, I think I started with 800. Did I have 800 or 500 to start I with? I am showing we had a, uh, almost a, a little more than 1,000. A little more than 1,000, okay. So we, we, we got the full done. quantity in. And, and I loaded everything into Did the you? system here. Okay. So, so everything that I already. have is right here and available. It is irreplaceable. Now understand, there's only 50,000. So I bought like 2.5% of the entire mintage. We had some, and understand, like the mint state 70s, they started selling for $129. Then they went to $229. Then they went to $300. Then $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $900. And that has been the pro progression of these same exact first 50,000 coins in Min State 70. Now we have just the remainder of these coins. And already, once again, they have started this absolute uh, explosion in the secondary well, we, market. We it, literally just got really busy. I, it, yeah, it's it, so it, fascinating to listen. But to know that this is brand new and for the the first time ever to have those privy marks or the privy mark and knowing that that's that's the whole gaming that the mobile gaming company story attached to this is so it, the United over States the top. Mint all of a sudden and we had no idea these were going to exist all of a sudden the mint about two months ago eight six weeks ago decides we're going to make a privy mark American silver eagle we're like what, what? and we're releasing the first 50,000 with a video game I've never heard of such a thing now let's continue to add to that story it gets even better so this is the first Mint State American Silver Eagle that has a privy mark on it in United States Mint history. But it's not the last. Ah. They've already announced in 2025 they'll put out the next one, really? which will have a flag on it. Oh. So this is the first one, and if you're going to collect the series, and everybody's going to want to collect the series, you have to have the first one if you continue on. So suggestion here, jump in, grab it while jump you can. Jump in and grab multiples is okay. what I would do, because okay. here's the secondary part of this. So the United States government has been making the Mint State American Silver Eagle since 1986. Prior to this, the rarest coin that the United States Mint has made in the Mint State American Silver Eagle series has been the 1996 American Silver Eagle. 3.6 million coins. And that coin in uncirculated condition, I can no way sell you for $119.95. I'm going to be about $199 to $229 on that coin, the 1996, just, just gem brilliant uncirculated, just like this coin. Double the price. This coin is almost 10 times rarer. Because Whoa. there's only, well, understand, the entire coin, the, the entire mintage, okay, is what we're talking about is 500,000. This is 50,000. 50, gotcha. This, with the first 50,000, even without it, it is the rarest Mint State Silver Eagle that has ever been made by the United States Mint, and it's not even close. And so that's the whole 500,000. Now, if you take the first 50,000, absolutely, positively guaranteed certified, now you've got the single most important sought after uh, collectible that the United States government has put out in the American Silver Eagle program in probably 
probably since at least 2021 when they changed the reverse design, okay? But certainly since then, uh, this is number one, and it might be the most important one in the last 10 or 15 years. So you said this is the very first time a mint state silver eagle includes a privy mark? That's 100%. Never first been done. Time. They've made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of American silver eagles, and not a single solitary one of them wow. has ever had a privy mark on them. Uh, uh, that's what they have. And they're all made at the Philadelphia Mint. So they're not even, all the other Silver Eagles are always made at the West Point Mint. As a matter of fact, since 2021, since this reverse design was uh, uh, introduced by the United States Mint in July 1st, uh, 2021, every single Mint State American Silver Eagle has been, made at the Phil, has been made at the West Point Mint. They've made none at San Francisco. They've made none at Philadelphia. And in the past, when they made them there, because they kind of had to help out because the West Point Mint couldn't keep up with demand, they just said they were from the San Francisco Mint. So we'd have to send the sealed boxes in to be graded, and then the grading company told you that they were San Francisco Mint. And of course, you can trust the grading companies uh, uh, with that. I mean, the security there is insane. But this time, we don't have to count, you don't have the right box, you don't have to send them sealed. Every coin stands on its own because it's got the star privy mark on the coin itself. And so that has never happened before in the history of the American Silver Eagle. So it's the first time the Philadelphia Mint has made the new reverse. It's the first time any mint other than West Point has made the new reverse. That's absolutely critical to collectability. The very first time they've done a privy mark, West, uh, you know, Philadelphia Mint or otherwise, it does not matter. And so what you've got is this spectacular, spectacular collectible opportunity that you see right here from the first 50,000. Any of the first, and I'm going to give you the opportunity here in a minute uh, for a couple minutes to own, you know, one of the Privy Mark coins. The, okay. Yep, that, the, the, the 24 so we just have, that's one of the first, you know, there's First, that's one of the 500,000, you know, and it's going to be a little bit less money, but not much, only $20 less. You're right, only 20 This best. one right here at the first 50,000, like I said, in retrospect, this is the price I put in when I bought them two weeks ago. Okay. In retrospect, I should probably be $139 or $149 on this, in all honesty. But once we kind of get it into the HSN system, it's there to stay. Well, you can see, you guys, as, as I said, we started with about the 1000 200 are gone out the door, and there's more Just than like, that ordering. As, oh, it, it, this, this is, is the deal. Crazy. And understand, the I can of the hour. not get any more, well, at this price. I mean, I could at like 199, 229, well, 249. That's because price. I'm going to have to go buy them for 120 or 130 or 140 or 150. You seize or whatever the moment. Whatever the market will, will bear. Because there are only 50,000 of these out there. Right. Okay, these first 50,000 with the special gaming. I know, you know that's so that cool fun. With that special? Part of the and the way they did it is they kind of, you know, did that kind of upside down. But there's that, it's called New Game right uh -huh. there, is what you have. And one of the guys, is funny. So as we're getting into this, and it's a new game. One of the guys that works for me started playing the game, and he's oh, currently really? the number one ranked player in the world. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, us coin geeks are pretty good at the video <laughs> games, too. And so, uh, and so, look at that. Isn't that cool? But like there, you said, this, you, if you're going to be a collector in this whole series, you've got to have the first one. And this is the first one. This is the first one. Yeah. And they're going to do the flag in 2025. Okay, they're going to do the flag in 2025. So that's going to be spectacular. You do that whole thing, I think it's going to be, I think, absolutely, positively uh, uh, amazing when you, when you have with this. But this opportunity, I cannot impress upon you enough the importance of your opportunity here. What the opportunity that is that sits here in front of you. It is absolutely historic from a numismatic standpoint. Understand, for whether it's for yourself to put some of these away because it is historic, the very first time a Mint State American Silver Eagle has got a privy mark. And a privy mark is just a secondary mark that's put on by a Mint to designate a lot of different things. You know, for this one, it just designates America with the star. And that's what the flag's going to be. So this is first in kind of the American Eagle Americana series, if you will. And so that little mark right there is the, is the uh, uh, initials of the designer, Adolf Weinman. Okay. That's been, because this original design was in the Walking Liberty Half Dollar in 1916. Oh, that is so okay? cool. Okay, Adolf love Weinman. That. So it's an A in, in with a W. I love that, So that's yeah. Adolf Weinman. And that's usually what it is, right above in God We Trust. And then right below that is that star that you see right there that has never been on. And the way that they did it was fascinating. They made the coin, 
Okay, they made the coin and then they went back and put the privy mark on it. Uh -huh. So it was a two-step process. And so because of that, when the United States Mint, remember the United States Mint sold zero of these to the American public. They sold them all through what are called the authorized purchasers, except these first 50,000. They went to the game developers. And so the game developers came up with this, came up ah. with this logo, and they had these coins to begin with. And here's the funny thing, they weren't really coin collectors, so when I bought these, I got them at a far better price. I got them at a far better price than if they really knew what they had. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest with you. Look at you, like I said, Because in today's market, <laughs> in today's market, it's a whole different thing, the mid state 70s. I mean, we originally bought some Mint State 70s, you know, at like uh, $85 a piece. Gosh. Okay. And then all of a sudden they're selling for $400, $500, $600, $700, $800 you know, for the be, Mint State 70s. You know, to do what you do, you have to be quite the visionary. You have to be able to like You have foresee. to be able to do it instantly. Yeah, like on the moment, in the moment and have an intuition. And that's what I'm telling everybody to do out there mm -hmm. right now. You have to act. Act and act quickly because of the limited edition. Now, 300 understand, gone. There's less than 700 left. That's right. So we sold 300 and we got hundreds of people on the phone. Here's I know, the thing. That's Remember, true. we're in the HSN extended holiday return. You have until the end of January to return and this all for your a full pay Yeah. So, so understand, you're $40 under gets it to you. That's Reserves right. And yours. understand, flex pay is not layaway. That's what you're used to in the coin business. You're used to layaway. So after you do this for two months or three months or four months or five months, that's when you get your coin. You get your coin right here, right that's now. That's so true, and I didn't realize that's how it worked in the coin Absolutely. business. Absolutely. Here at HSN, we've always known. I mean, flex pay means one payment now, you get the product, and then enjoy it as you pay it off slowly over the next couple of months. It is hard to believe that we do that with coins, especially something that's this rare. Like I said, this is the very first time ever on air. Brand new when it comes to the Privy Mark and to be able to you know, team up with that mobile gaming device or uh, the company. And you know, as you were talking about the fact that after, the, after this was struck, then it went back for the Privy Mark, then it went that's back another the, first. That's another first. So they do this in a two-step process. And so by the time you do this, now here's the other thing. So the first 50,000 went to the gaming companies. The next 450,000, there's only five 500,000, which is the rarest silver eagle that's been struck in half a decade. Okay, mint state. And so now those go to the APs, the authorized purchasers. There's only 12. They're already sold out. Wow. 450, they're gone. Wow. They're already moving into the secondary 000. marketplace. As a matter of fact, the premium Jeez. I paid, that premium went up 25% before it even sold out. And so that premium is already moving. So those are already into the secondary market as well. And that's what's happened. And here's the thing. Callie, the vast majority of collectors don't even know this exists. Really? Wait, well, because it, the Mint never really announced it. There's been relatively no, no uh, publicity of any kind about this. And now all of a sudden, it hits the market, people are watching, they go, whoa, what happened? And if you blink, it's 10% more. If you blink, it's 20% more is what's been happening with this, particularly with these first 50,000 coins, as we've evidenced here. Like I said, we started with a bid over 1,000. Uh-huh, we did. Okay, and we're now probably under 600. We are. With <laughs> hundreds of people we on the are. phone. We are. This could very well be the multiples one and only and multiples. airing. And I know we we're going to, you know, we can spend a couple extra minutes here if we need. Because here's the thing. I had some Mint State 70s. <clears throat> they came to me before the show, not the first 50,000, just from the regular ones. Oh, oh, oh gotcha. I had the mid state 70s. Uh, they said, we need to fill in six minutes in the show because those <laughs> sold out in our, in our HSN2 show. 120 of them at $249. See, it's been one of those Go days in it's, coins. It's been really? one of those days. And so that, now all of a sudden, so I have a few extra minutes to give here. And with everybody buying in right now, with everybody on, you know, we could legitimately, Callie, sell this, one sell out. this out in a this thousand one. pieces mm -hmm. in this hour. Well, we've right got less here, than right 500 now, now on uh, available. Over 500 gone officially, right. and as you said, people are still ordering. Can we get more than one? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, look, I hate that. You know, limit three per person. Well, this is America. It is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can buy all 1,000 if you want. You know, I've never limited this. I, I hate that. I think it's just a cheap ploy. I, I, I always have. If you want it, I would get it. If you want two, I would buy two. If you want five, I would buy five. If you want 10, I would buy 10. Because understand, once I sell this out, we're not going to see this again. Unless I go into the secondary market and the next time you see this, 
is going to be two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Probably two forty nine. Well, you're right. Like as time goes along and the the popularity. I'm talking about five days from now. Five days when my from next now. show is. Okay. So you've got the best. Actually, my next show is in thirteen days, the eighteenth. And that's the last. And if show I have it, and that's the, the last show I have on the air. And it's this one a.m. This ain't going to be there. This is the only primetime show I have between now and, okay. and, and the holidays. My, and my producer, Brandon, just said most people are getting more than one. Yeah, I, I would suggest that. So let's go back real okay, quickly on the story. we got a minute, maybe two minutes here is all, because I don't think we have quantity to go more than that. So first things first, the American Silver Eagle, the most popularly collected silver coin on the planet today. Absolutely, positively, no doubt about it. In its history, in the tens and hundreds of millions of silver eagles that the United States Mint has struck, they have never used what's called a privy mark. A privy mark is a secondary mark put on a mint. It's heavily used by the Royal Mint in England. It's heavily used by the Royal Canadian Mint. It's used by mints all around the world. The United States Mint has been loath to use that. Well, they used it for the very first time on an American silver eagle. I think it's only the third time they've used it on a coin, any coin. And all those other coins are thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. dollars. This is the first time that a privy mark coin by the United States Mint in like the American Silver Eagle series or regular coin series is, is available at an anything approaching an affordable price, particularly with the rarity of this coin, as they only made 500,000. So the first time, first Philadelphia Mint coin with the new reverse uh, from 2021, and so that, and then this coin is from the first 50,000 that was only released to the gaming company that you have right here, this, this uh, new gaming company that you have. Uh, uh, with that, if you wanna play that, that's fine, but that's how we got the coins, is through the gaming company. I so gotcha. the Mint wanted to get involved and kind of brand them themselves with kind of in new areas, particularly with younger collectors, hence video games. And so that's what really spawned this, the fact that we had these first 50,000 coins available, certified from the first 50,000. Now understand, the whole 500,000 is ridiculously collectible. The whole 500,000 is completely and totally sold out. The first 50,000 just hit the market about a week early. And all of a sudden, and it's funny, started so slow. Did it? I was talking to dealers, they go, I don't know, you know, it's a star. And then all of a sudden, you know, they started talking to their customers, oh yeah, give me five. They go, oh really? <laughs> okay, well give me 10. It's like, oh really? <laughs> and so all of a sudden, and it just started picking up steam and picking up wow. steam. And now it's absolutely so you at the right place, at the right time to do the deal. And honestly, as you've heard, I mean, down the road, if these come back ever, they're going to be probably twice the price. Oh, I would say, yeah, yeah. I'd say easily twice the price if I can find them. Because yeah. understand what's happening. As you as you good folks buy these out there, understand they go into your collection. It's not like, you know, you put them right back out or resell them or do anything like that. They go in and they go down to your sons and daughters and grandsons and granddaughters and, and all that. Yeah. You know, so that's really, really, really well, with everybody an important on the opportunity. Right I think now. we're down to about 300 now. Yeah, we are. Between three and 400. Uh, yeah. We're processing the orders. As you're ordering multiples, it's hard for us to tell how many are actually gone, but I know well over 500 officially. Uh, don't miss out on that one. I mean, what, you're here for the first, potentially the last opportunity there, 897-651. Continue calling, continue ordering, even though we're moving on, it's still here until we officially tell you it's gone. But let's mm -hmm. move on to the original, as you were saying. Yeah, well, this is, the, this is still the Star Privy.